Now there's a lot of different ways to make an online store nowadays, from sites that literally all they're about is making an online store to things that are a little more robust and happen to have a lot of plugins that you can then use to make an online store. The thing is that a lot of these platforms are really good at one or two features in particular. For example, WordPress is super robust, has a lot of different plugins, and can do a lot of things, but the truth of the matter is that it's really meant for content creation. That's what it was kind of designed for in the beginning. It's not to say it can't do those other things, but that's its main focus and just kind of what it's best at. Shopify, on the other hand, is the opposite of that. It's really meant for just creating a quick online store, but does not offer too many things in the form of content, or just not too many things that are very good in the form of of content and it just focuses really on being a storefront. Now in my opinion, even if an online store is your end goal, you should keep an open mind to other uses for the store, like creating content, for example. Content marketing is a huge driver of revenue nowadays, so long as that content is still valuable and is putting the reader first, etc. cetera, uh, but it is something that you should keep in the back of your mind when making an online store, along with other things as well. Now, WordPress is what I use for my site, frankly, but it is eh, a little more complicated than your average system. So it does a lot of things, like a lot, but it takes a little bit of knowledge of code, at least a little bit, in order to get things to function the way that you want, look the way that you want, etc. And it can be kind of overwhelming for a lot of people. Now with all of that in mind, uh, and without getting into internet marketing in this video, something that I would recommend that's maybe not as robust as WordPress and not as simplified as Shopify, uh, that has a nice balance of speed, ease of use, and is gonna get you to an online store really quickly and still look really nice, is something maybe like Wix. Now Wix.com is a great asset for anybody trying to build a website really quickly. It's also free to try, and it has a ton of different features that are already baked in for online stores that are pretty helpful. So first up, you're gonna head to Wix.com and click Start Now. Then we click Sign Up and enter in your info to create a free account. After that, it'll ask you some questions on what you are trying to do, and it'll help you narrow down some templates and features that might be pertinent to the business that you're trying to accomplish. Now, we're going to select online store from the list here since that's obviously what we're going for. You can then choose to use the Wix ADI, which is their artificial intelligence that does a lot of the designing for you, or the Wix editor, which is more hands-on, takes a bit more time, but is more customizable. Now, you can check out the link to my video I did on making a website with Wix to see the differences between the ADI and the editor and also get some ideas on how you can edit the site and the look and feel of it regardless of either of those two options. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna use the ADI just to get us up and running as fast as possible and also potentially save you from dying of boredom while you watch this video. After choosing online store and waiting for the ADI to set up the homepage, you can go through the homepage and change the verbiage, photos, etc., to suit your needs. Again, see my other video for a little bit more detail on changing sections, etc. Then we can click on pages at the top left and then click on the shop to see what the shop page will look like. From here, you can click the gear icon and select manage store to get the main features of the store. First things first, you will need to choose a payment method. You can choose from Square, Stripe, Moolah, and PayPal. You can select which you want to offer and follow each's setup process relatively easily, and once you're done, they'll automatically be added as options for customers during checkout. After that, we need to set up our shipping and taxes. Now, we can do that for specific regions and add different rules for each of those regions. For example, we can create a rule for the US that allows free shipping or have it base it on the products in the cart's weight, give it a flat rate per cart, etc. You can also add taxes you might need to collect in the same area and frankly, it's all just pretty intuitive and pretty easy to figure out. Once we have the all important payments and shipping and taxes all set up, we can then move on to creating our products. We can click on product catalog and we'll see a list of all of our products. You can edit products by clicking on them or add a new one by clicking that at the top right. You can then choose from digital products, things that people download or don't require shipping, and physical products, and from there it'll give you a ton of options to fill in for the product. From the name to the price, descriptions, photos, you can even track inventory, and a decent amount of other options you might need. Again, it's all pretty intuitive and self-explanatory. 
You can also create collections, aka product categories, to organize the products better and later even display certain categories on certain pages. Once we have our products, we can then either go with the way that the ADI decided that they should look, or we can go in and change them ourselves. To do that, we go to pages again, and we can select from a few different template pages. The shop homepage, which is shown when people click on your shop page, not to be confused with your homepage. The product page, which is the template for how every product on your site will look when it gets clicked on. The cart, which is how your checkout page will look. And the thank you page, which is what users will see after a successful purchase. Clicking on any of these will then allow you to hover over the page and click on designs to choose different layouts for the page. You can also click on the pencil icon to make smaller changes to the chosen layout that you've picked as well. Wix also has a couple of neat store promotion features built in, which is another reason why I kind of recommend it. It's not just about building the store, it also kind of helps you do some smart things to then promote it. One is the ability to add coupons that you can then use to help drive traffic to the store. But the bigger deal to me is the built-in email marketing that you can do. Email marketing is still to this day one of the best returns you can get when marketing online. So I'm a big fan when you have a store to consider using email marketing as well. Wix allows you to blast out emails with their own templates based around common email newsletters for stores, or you can use your own. These do require having at least their mid-tier plan though, and gives you the ability to send out up to 50,000 emails a month through 20 different email campaigns. And 20 is honestly more than I'd recommend sending out per month, depending on your product and audience. Once we have the store looking the way that we want, and we have a logo that we like, and all the info for the products is in, and all that fun stuff, we can probably go live. Now once live, you can manage orders from the manage store slash orders section. It will only let you start taking orders though if you sign up for an e-commerce plan with Wix, but it's not expensive. The middle plan, which is the one I'd recommend because of the added email campaign options I mentioned before, as well as the unlimited bandwidth so you don't have to worry about the number of people coming to the site, is only $25 a month. And that's definitely competitive with the other website builders out there. There you guys, quick tutorial on how to get a store set up really fast using Wix. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below of this tutorial of Wix, of any advice actually that you have for other people that are trying to start an e-commerce store. I'm sure other people would love to hear it and I always like hearing from you guys. Uh, and if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more tech videos, please check out the channel. The link is floating around my face somewhere. Click it. You'll be taken to the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.